Hey, how's it going, guys? So today on the Phantom Cave YouTube channel, I know I've been away for a couple of days. So this is basically this is the replacement video for number of the on Thursday. So let's get into it. Hopefully you enjoy the video, and so let's get into it. So the comic that I am talking about today is the. John Dixon special, The Giant Size Phantom, issue 14. It is starring John Dixon's Catman, the Phantom Commando, the Phantom Ranger, which uh, I'm actually going to point that out. We don't actually see the Phantom Ranger in this actual comic. I'm actually going to point that out to future people that are actually watching this clip. And so we also have Captain Stratope and plus the normal Phantom comic. And yeah, it's it's a very this publication, the Giant Size Phantom, it's all about John Dixon this time around. And basically the giant let me spell this out to you. The Giant Size Phantom comics are probably I'm going to say this is probably the best ever sort of giant size actual comic that you can actually buy. They, they go for like 100 pages or something like that. So it's pretty good to have different comics, different comics from different eras and a whole lot more that you can buy this comic. You can either buy this comic from obviously their website at www.phantomcomic.com.au or you can get it at your local news agency so yeah so this one obviously it being a short charlton story a short probably 15 15 page or 15, 20 page uh charlton story um a lot of people with charlton stories they it isn't that they're not good, but um, they're short. And a lot of the later sort of Charlton stories that we actually have a look at, we actually had a look at the later sort of stories that I'm actually talking about. And I'm actually thinking, I might put a photo up of the later Charlton stories, like um, in issue 70 or something like that. But what I'm trying to talk about is that the Charlton stories. So the Charlton stories, if you're not an actual fan of the Phantom, they actually are basically short Phantom stories. They get published in very probably low low quality books. I haven't actually seen a Charlton actual comic um, original myself because I have none in my collection. But um, they, they, they're pretty, they're all right stories, I guess, this could be controversial, but they're very, they're well scripted sometimes, they can be sometimes, the artwork, a lot of the times when the artwork is being done, there is a bit of a matter of fact that there is, you can tell by the A Charlton story because of the artwork. It the artwork feels a lot bigger than what it actually is. Basically, what I'm trying to say. Yeah, so it's only probably a ten page story, and yeah, it's it's pretty cool, I guess. But um, I guess they could fit in most of these sort of oldish stories, oldish phantom stories that don't go over 10 or 15 pages. So we now have Captain Captain Stratto. So Captain Stratto, it was last published back in Giant Size 2 or 3, Giant Size number 2 or 3. So it's, it's cool how they get the reprints, they get the original storyline of the actual comic and they're able to actually distribute it through the phantom fans so what happens in this story is that there's obviously captain strato is involved in this story but there is actually a very 
sophisticated plot going on here in, in here we have a foreign agent agent that actually has to actually go in he has to try and steal the plans to try and get on top of the moon so this this comic was obviously done back in the 1950s that surprisingly it only had three issues printed um, because of low demand and not people not um, uh, basically enjoying it I guess but this obviously comic is a part of the John Dixon um, comic run and it's pretty cool to have it in a giant size book so yeah it's cool and so Agent X a former known uh, well he's 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 a bad person I tell you that right now um, and he obviously he's gonna try and steal the plans for this this spacecraft that the US government is actually building in these in this time where we have this is basically from the 1950s so back in the 1950s we had a basically a moon race to try and get someone try and get control over the moon and whoever had the control over the moon actually thought that they would able to control a lot of things but yeah and obviously USA won um, the Russian people they obviously I don't know much history about the um, moon landings but I know that they did do the moon landing in 1969 And that's, that's, that, that's, it's pretty cool how we actually get some Captain Strapto, other characters that I, I completely, I have not seen. And obviously, finally, there's a space launch and it's, there's something faulty, something dodgy going on here, in, in here and the professor actually gets kidnapped and Captain Strato um, finally catches up with Agent X and I think yeah Agent X is I so Agent X I'm thinking I don't I don't actually it doesn't actually say what happened to Agent X but it, I it might it might say it well yeah, you must be... Yeah, it's, it's a, it's strange how it's not actually saying, but I'll, I, I did read this probably a couple of days ago, so it may not be really clear in my mind. And anyways, so we have the Phantom Commando introducing one of the World War Two um, mysteries. So a lot of the World War Two mysteries um, happen in World War Two. Obviously, great art by John Dixon, and it's it's a lot to do with why why there was a war in the first place why there was a first world war in the first place um so if we've got any history buffers out there that like their history like the phantom go comment down below and see to tell me what sort of ins and outs have you got about world war one and world war two because i'm i'm a big i it's it's good that we get to see a Anzac marches every year, but obviously because COVID right now, we didn't this year we didn't actually see a Anzac march. Well, we did see it, but it was actually in other people's homes, and they would go out the front porch and actually pay their respects and all that sort of stuff. And so this obviously introduces a lot of characters. We've got the Phantom Commando, this big guy here who actually know knows who the Phantom Commando is, and then we have his uh, I 
think wife or girlfriend he she I think gets captured or something but um I think yeah they it's it's a it's a good story I get that but it's not it's it's a good story I'll, I'll just say that it's a good story and it introduces um, the Japanese forces and a lot of other things and a lot of action in this comic I tell you that right now a lot of action a lot of action which makes a good comic in certain ways yeah obviously I think we might have Nazis in this as well strange bad people and so we have the rocket that is actually so in this comic obviously there's um, World War 2 um, a lot of World War 2 planes and a lot of World War 2 a lot of stuff in this so there, it's basically because it was written back in I think the 1950s I think there was obviously a lot of influence back in those days with World War Two only being probably four or five or ten years being that it's in that era ten years of that era and so we see the commando the Phantom Commando actually wins the battle against this and basically goes back to his old his island and lives his life and he will obviously see his girlfriend another time and all that sort of stuff. So we have Catman number seven a this I didn't realise but this is this Catman was obviously it is an imported uh, it is a imported comic from America back in those days the Phantom obviously is an imported camera it is imported character and it's it's to do with a lot of stuff and the Catman and Kit it's it's a good story I like it um, there's a lot of good Catman stories out there obviously this being the seventh issue and all that sort of stuff so yeah it's pretty cool oh. so we have the Sir Falcon number 37 this character was obviously popular and yeah it's it's this one again I like because obviously featuring John Dixon obviously a lot of other things featuring John Dixon that he actually wrote and uh, like he 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 was a writer and he was an artist um, a lot of the times when John Dixon would put his artwork in line he would he would possibly do a very great job at it and a lot of things happen when John Dixon actually went into the artwork went in and put some effort into it actually and a lot of other things so to summarize the Sir Falcon story so obviously the Emperor or the king of a certain country his son his prince goes missing and the princess goes missing as well they Sir Falcon is to find them and pull them back into their country because they cannot um, they cannot send guards or warriors to try and get the both of them because it's out of their actual region again it's there's a bit of a plot in this story so the wife the kid wife of the prince um, basically dumb um, dumb he um, the yeah uh, yeah it um, plays with him a little bit and makes him believe that there's a girl out there wanting to be his lover but um, 
he doesn't want to have a he just wants to be single and that's okay and then we finally get them back together after all that drama we get it back to where we need to and yeah we have a happy ending and we this actually actually went in the second front page of the comic so it gives a bit of an insight on what John Dixon was like and how he created his comics what he did for the industry as a whole and a lot of other things so we have the trading cards on sale enjoy supernova prices without the supernova boxes $90 each packs $4 each Slyberry CDs thirty dollars each and carton cut CDs forty dollars each. And that includes postage and patching within Australia. Available at your local comic shops and at www.phantomcomic.com.au or phone o two nine two six one eight one two two. So if you would, if you liked that video, then you can obviously subscribe down below click that bell icon to receive the latest in-depth phantom analysis of phantom comics the latest interviews that i do and obviously everything from the latest phantom cave videos to obviously everything phantom cave and i will be putting down in the description below my link to my new website that i have built in probably the last week or so so um subscribe down below and keep on phantom caving down keep on phantom caving and we'll see you next time on the phantom cave youtube channel see you